Hello and welcome everybody to RCW Strike Zone. We are coming to you live from Detroit, Michigan for another exciting episode of RCW Strike Zone. Tonight, we will also find out who was also going to contend for the RCW Twitch TV Championship. Two members of the RCW male division who have already qualified are Randy Orton and Dolph Ziggler, but they're going to have to face each other one-on-one -on -one at the Autumn Rumble to find out who's going to go. Right now, we're going to have Cesaro versus Samoa Joe. Winner of this match goes to the Fatal 4-Way for the Twitch TV title. Also later on tonight, we'll also find another contender for the RCW Women's Championship at the Autumn Rumble. Also, we'll have the winners in the finals for the RCW Heavyweight title go on against their competitors who they beat last week. That being Kevin Owens defeating Baron Corbin with his own finishing maneuver the end of days. And then Bray Wyatt absolutely dominating Finn Balor. Right now we got the Swiss Superman ready for action against a very formidable opponent. The man known around the world as Samoa Joe. Competing all over the world in America, Mexico, and Japan. Samoa Joe is one of the most dominant athletes ever to step into a professional wrestling ring. Samoa Joe, champion down in TNA. Former NXT champion. Has not yet won a championship in WWE, but looking to possibly become the inaugural RCW Twitch TV champion if he can knock off Cesaro here tonight. Both of these men love to fight, so let's see what we got here tonight. The Swiss Superman versus the monster Samoa Joe. And here we go. Samoa Joe, the striker, coming out of the box first and then an arm trap. Samoa Joe with a big knee to Cesaro. And a big boot. Cesaro countering it with an arm drag. Cesaro not have yet had great success in the WWE. He's a former United States champion and tag team champion, but has never won the big one. And unfortunately for Cesaro, he was also eliminated early on in the Battle Royal in the first episode of RCW. But looking to try and regain momentum as he goes for the RCW Twitch TV Championship. Cesaro with a slingshot uppercut. Excuse me, corkscrew uppercut. Cesaro now stomping on the arms of Samoa Joe to possibly not allow him to use the muscle buster in a clothesline. Excuse me, a lariat by Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe can do it all. He can strike, he can grapple, he can put men away. Cesaro there with a, what looked like a torture rack kind of slam. 
again working the arms of Samoa Joe, which honestly might be a good thing. To try and have him not use the muscle buster as he goes for a big double stomp to Samoa Joe. Cesaro has now gained full control of this matchup. As if Joe is stunned on what to do here. Rebound into a suplex with Cesaro. Cutting down now the knees, the legs, excuse me, of Samoa Joe. Cesaro now. Kick back to the torso. Again, working the arm, Cesaro going to the top row. What will we see here from the Swiss Superman? Taunting Samoa Joe to get up. Cesaro with a huge diving clothesline. We don't, so, we don't see Cesaro go to the top very often. As he follows up with an elbow. Cesaro with a European uppercut. Looking to put Joe away here. Way too early on in this match. Cesaro, one of the strongest men in, w in RCW. Putting away the likes of Big Show and Great Kali with that move right there, the neutralizer. Must be able be enough to put Samoa Joe away for a two count. No. Cesaro thought he had it one. Practically neutralized any kind of offense Samoa Joe was throwing at him. And immediately go for an uppercut and a neutralizer, and Joe kicked out at an ease. As now Joe works on Cesaro. Those elbows to the head, possibly a sub for the Koji clutch. Or excuse me, his um, rear naked choke submission. As Joe now working on the arms of Cesaro and back to the head, so maybe he cannot use the use European uppercuts. Joe sending Cesaro right into the corner. As Joe flips him over on his back, what's Joe looking for here? Dunk. Huge hip bump into an Enziguri. A very athletic big man known as Samoa Joe. Nice snapmare takedown by Cesaro following a kick to the back of the head. Again, softening those big tree trunk like legs of Samoa Joe. Possibly looking so he can't walk by tonight at the end of this matchup. Joe with a huge headbutt. Both men stirring at this moment. Because this has this action has just been non-stop since the start of this matchup. Cesaro with a jawbreaker. Some sort of exploder suplex. Cesaro now with a running elbow. Cesaro now sending Joe into the corner. Send him up on the top of the turnbuckle. What does Cesaro got here? Going for a middle rope German suplex. Now knock the wind out of the hell out of anybody as he follows up with more stomps. Cesaro, such an amazing athlete in professional wrestling. Huge. Excuse me, maybe not a T-bone. Following slam, following another European uppercut. Cesaro now pandering to the crowd, saying he's got this in the bag. Let's see if he can put Joe away with another neutralizer. And then go to the then go to the fatal four-way for the RCW Twitch title, and Joe counters it. 
Those some hard strikes. Joe now with an explorer suplex. Joe just waiting, stalking Cesaro, waiting for him to get up so he could possibly use the muscle buster on Cesaro. Joe now with a German. Oh boy. A German. Then a full Nelson slam. And then another German suplex with the bridge. Those will be enough to put Cesaro away. And it does. My goodness. Samoa Joe just knocked off Cesaro. A lot of people might consider this an upset against Cesaro, but for Samoa Joe, this is another day in the office. A very game. Cesaro. Hit him with two European uppercuts. And a neutralizer. But enough blows to the head that Cesaro could not kick out. Off a German. Full Nelson slam, and then a German with a bridge in that sequence as Joe now becomes one of four men to be in the fatal four-way for the RCW Twitch TV Championship. As I alluded to earlier, we now have the, the winners of the semifinals taking on their opponents that they beat to get to the finals that being Kevin Owens and Bray Wyatt teaming up against Baron Corbin and Finn Balor Finn Balor, who last week in the main event was absolutely dominated by Bray Wyatt. I don't think any of us really expected that to happen. With all the respect to Bray Wyatt, but Finn Balor is a champion all across the world and he got knocked off by him. That's a big slap to the face to Finn Balor. As Finn Balor teams up tonight with Baron Corbin. In which Baron Corbin was also out of the out of the tournament for the RCW title. Against Kevin Owens, who put him away with his own maneuver the end of days. A hell of a shocker if you ask me. Baron Corbin may be the lone wolf, but tonight he's going to have to deal with having a partner in Finn Balor, former comrade in NXT. Baron Corbin, Golden Gloves champion in boxing. Spent some time in the NFL and realized it wasn't for him, he just wanted to fight. So he came to the WWE, now he came to RCW. That's why last week these two 
that one on one because both these men love to fight Kevin Owens and Finn ba excuse me Kevin Owens and, and Baron Corbin both these men love to fight Barrett as Kevin Owens teams up with the eater of worlds Bray Wyatt. Again tonight, their tag team partners, Ray Wyatt and Kevin Owens, where they go one-on-one -on -one this Sunday for the RCW Heavyweight title. And here we go, Finn Balor and Kevin Owens. A huge brain buster out of the gates by Finn Balor. Both these men know each other so well, battling for the NXT title on several occasions. Back at Beast in the East in NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. And what was Finn Balor's homecoming in Tokyo, Japan, where he knocked off Finn Kevin Owens for the NXT title. Then both these men compete in the first ever NXT ladder match. At NXT TakeOver Brooklyn as Finn Balor goes a springboard. Kevin Owens now weakening the arm. Going for an inverted over elbow drop. Excuse me. Again, we'll see how well these two can work together as a team before they go on one on one with each other this Sunday. Bray Wyatt and Kevin Owens, first time ever. Balor and No. Ooh, here we go. Baron Corbin and Bray Wyatt. Corbin with a big boot to Wyatt. You would also have to imagine that if Baron Corbin and Finn Balor can knock off Kevin Owens and Bray Wyatt here tonight, that this would seriously kill any kind of momentum these two can carry over to the pay-per-view. Bray Wyatt now with a huge lariat. Bray Wyatt playing mind games with Baron Corbin. It's Corbin, the Golden Gloves champion, making the tag to Baron Corbin, laying him out with a huge right hand. Wyatt now. Doing what he did last week, dominate Finn Balor. As Balor now gets some offense, but then there goes Bray Wyatt once again to kill any kind of momentum Balor had. Balor looked like he was going for a standing guillotine there with Bray Wyatt going for a flying crossbody. And a huge kick. 
to Finn Balor. Wyatt with a huge stomp to possibly neutralize the coup de gras. Very mixed chance of kill Owens kill and we earlier heard Finn Balor's people crying for Finn Balor. Balor now with a gut check. Once again, Bray Wyatt just dominating Finn Balor as he did last week as he's going now for a huge belly to belly. Bray Wyatt claiming himself the ear of worlds, which in many cases he may be. Balor now looking for a huge sit out power bomb. Balor sending wide into the corner. They're going to tag to Baron Corbin. Huge slingshot into the right hand. And then a springboard elbow. Corbin now with a cover. Is this enough to put Bray Wyatt away? And Wyatt kicks out at two. Corbin now looking to stomp him out all. And Bray Wyatt. Wyatt now going into the corner. And Baron sending him into the other corner, possibly playing some mind games. With Bray Wyatt. And a huge throw. Huge hip toss throw. Corbin with a cover and a kick out with authority by Bray Wyatt. Again, Bray Wyatt just so dominant. Tag. Huge choke slam by Bray Wyatt. Note that Bray Wyatt has not made a single tag to Kevin Owens ever since Kevin Owens started off the matchup. There might be some tension between Bray Wyatt and Kevin Owens as they go in to the heavyweight title match this Sunday at the Autumn Rumble. Oh boy, here we go. The spider walk by Bray Wyatt. The crowd chanting, Wyatt's going to kill you. Wyatt, Sister Abigail to Baron Corbin. Will this be enough to put Baron Corbin away as he kicks out at two? These two now just making a tag. The second tag in this matchup is now Kevin Owens goes to into the cover. Kevin Owens beat Baron Corbin last week with his own finishing maneuver at the end of days. Corbin felt that was a huge slap in the face of disrespect. As Kevin Owens went for a springboard frog splash. Bray Wyatt now trying to get the crowd behind Kevin Owens. Owens goes for a running senton. And into the cover. And Corbin kicks out at two. You would think if Baron Corbin would kick out for anybody, he would be kicking out of Kevin Owens after he beat him with the end of days. Owens now with a torture rack spin out, neck breaker. Baron Corbin needs to make a tag now to Finn Balor. Desperately need to make a tag. As Owens now looking to rearrange the facial features of Baron Corbin with his boot. Huge knee.
Baron Corbin may be the lone wolf, but he needs to make a tag as soon as possible. The Finn Balor waiting in the corner. As now he sends Owens to the outside. Baron Corbin now trying to inflict as much damage as he can to Kevin Owens after what happened last week. Is Finn Baron Corbin going with a huge leg drop, Hogan style leg drop, or Undertaker? Take your pick. Corbin now with the deep six, the cover on Kevin Owens, and Owens kicks out at two. Well, we see what happened last week. Baron Corbin going for the end of days. To Kevin Owens. The cover. And Owens kicks out at two. And in comes Finn Balor. Where the freshest man in this entire matchup. This Balor now goes for the cover, and Owens kicks out for the count of one. Balor now with a huge drop kick to the back of the head. Balor now looking for that corner drop kick, and it connects. Balor now looking for the coup de gras. Into the cover. And Bray Wyatt just saves the matchup, saving his partner. Huge splat, frog splash from Finn Balor. Note that Bray came to save Kevin Owens. But well, let's see if he's going to be that much. See if Bray goes for the cover, if Kevin's going to return the favor. Show slam to Finn Balor. This would be enough to put Balor away, and Balor kicks out at two. Balor now with a huge inverted suplex, Northern Light suplex, excuse me. Balor now busting open Bray Wyatt. Finn Balor now exacting revenge on Bray Wyatt after dominating Finn Balor last week in their matchup in the main event to go to the finals for the RCW heavyweight title Sling Blade from Finn Balor Balor staring in the eyes of Bray Wyatt as he now delivers him with a running drop kick Both Balor and Corbin gaining full revenge on Bray Wyatt and Kevin Owens. Now Balor looking for the coup de gras. The Bray Wyatt will this be enough to put Wyatt away. And Wyatt kicks out at two. My God. Balor now trying. He had Wyatt to get up, but he makes a tag to the big man, Baron Corbin. Yeah. 
Look at Wyatt, the crimson mass pouring down his face, all the blood as he delivers a suplex to Baron Corbin, now tagging in the prize fighter Kevin Owens, as Owens now goes into the cover. And Corbin kicks out at two as Wyatt gets a cheap shot on Finn. Corbin now. As he gets taken down by Kevin Owens. Both these men knowing each other so well after the last week, they're going counter after counter. Kevin Owens now with a single leg Boston Crab to the big legs of Baron Corbin. As Finn Balor now saves Corbin. And the matchup. Owens now. Look for that package neck breaker. Dragging that huge frame of Baron Corbin into the middle of the ring. And now Kevin Owens possibly looking for the pump up power bomb to Baron Corbin as he goes into the cover. And Kevin Owens and Finn. Excuse me, Kevin Owens and Bray Wyatt win this matchup. Heading into the Autumn Rumble. Note that Finn Balor did not try and break up this pin attempt on Baron Corbin. I'm sure Baron Corbin's not too he's not too happy about this one. I mean, don't get me wrong, Bray Wyatt and Kevin Owens, they may be going one-on-one -on -one this Sunday, but they sure as hell have a lot of a trust between the two. That is evidence here tonight. But will this trust come to punches this Sunday at the Autumn Rumble for the RCW Heavyweight title? As now we're going to hear some words from Naomi. Naomi may be looking to air what she needs to say as far as the women's division and possibly contending for this Sunday for the RCW Women's Title Championship in the Battle Royal. Let me get right to the point. The women in the WWE need to be taught a lesson and I'm the teacher. Tonight someone is going to learn the hard way that I'm the best around here. I know, I respect her, she's talented in the ring, she's got the mic skills, so she doesn't even know how to play politics. I want you all to see this, this is the moment I've been waiting for, do you want to see me and Alicia Fox in this very ring at the, this very moment? Naomi now calling out Alicia Fox, her opponent, for this Sunday. In the Autumn Rumble kickoff. A number of you may be wondering why I'm out here right now. Well, let me explain. Actually, I could give you my explanation because I don't think any of you are intelligent enough to understand 
Oh my goodness. Look at what the cat dragged in. You know, if you wrestled half as good as you looked, you'd be champion by now. Wow. It's so cute that you want to be a superstar. You even played dress up and got yourself a costume. But it's all for nothing because everyone knows you're a loser. I'm sorry, what did you say? I fell asleep there for a minute. Honestly, the RCW Universe didn't come here tonight to listen to this snooze fest. I'm fairly sure that the authority wouldn't appreciate you coming down here and trying to run down the best superstar in the company. Clearly, that's not what's best for business. Look, we clearly got off on the wrong foot, which is fine by me, because I like a good fight. I started this night wanting to fight you, but then I remember what city we're in. These people don't deserve to see my magnificence in the ring. I am a queen, a goddess. I'm still waiting for you to say something interesting. Say something I haven't heard before. Stand out and say something that leaves me shaking. You've done nothing to prove that you deserve a match in this ring with me, but until you do, I'm not going to waste my time on someone like you, who is far out of my league that you should be carrying my boots. My goodness. Naomi calling out Alicia Fox, but Alicia Fox had a plenty of bullets in that gun that she just shoot. Naomi. Well, hopefully everyone can recover from the shots fired by Alicia Fox and Naomi as we now go on to our next matchup, Dean Ambrose versus Sheamus. Winner proceeding to the fatal four-way for the RCW Twitch title. Dean Ambrose, the lunatic fringe, looking to get his first ever championship here in RCW. Dean Ambrose, former Intercontinental, United States Champion, and WWE World Champion in the WWE. But need I remind you, this is not the WWE. This is RCW. As these two now do battle, Dean Ambrose and Sheamus. Sheamus, the former Royal Rumble winner, United States Champion, King of the Ring, WWE Champion, World Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Money in the Bank. Sheamus has done it all in the WWE. And looking to start off his career in RCW by winning the RCW Twitch TV title. And here we go. Ambrose looking to get an early strike on Sheamus. Sheamus quickly getting his backside slam. And now pandering to the crowd, saying that he's better and faster than Ambrose. But Ambrose counters it with a German. This match starting off strong, let me tell you that. Dean Ambrose is a DDT. Dean Ambrose may be a lunatic, but she he sure as hell is successful. Over a big boot to the chest. 
of Sheamus. Now laying down big right hands. Ambrose now going to the top rope. As Sheamus just now starts to stir. And a clubbing double axe handle by Sheamus. Both these guys know what it takes to get to the top and win championships. Now Sheamus with the big right club and blows. Ambrose now on the middle rope. He's telling Sheamus to get up. Ambrose now with a huge drop kick to Celtic Warrior. Sheamus now with a huge shoulder tackle. Putting Ambrose on the ropes and Sheamus with a huge spine buster. Single handed spine buster. Dean Ambrose with a face buster. Ambrose now with another DDT. Maybe trying to flatten that huge mohawk of Sheamus. And Sheamus now goes into cover on Dean Ambrose as Dean kicks out at two. Ambrose now with another flyover DDT. Ambrose just full of DDTs here tonight. Hit out almost about three or four. Ambrose just working on the head. Seamus probably thinking he looks really friggin' stupid with that mohawk. Wanted to flatten that crap out and Sheamus into the cover. And Ambrose kicks out at two again. I think we all know the history that Sheamus can be quite a bit of a hothead, but you got to let not that get to him against Dean Ambrose. Sheamus now raking the eyes of Ambrose. Throwing Ambrose into the corner. Setting him up now in the tree of woe. The crowd now chanting to Seamus that he looks stupid. Here we go, white noise. Seamus may look stupid, but he sure as hell is successful. He now tries to pair the crowd and tell them that I don't look stupid. Seamus is a huge backbreaker. Ambrose looking like he's just dead weight at this point. This match has all been Sheamus. Well, there's a little bit of life back in Ambrose. He gets an elbow right to the chest of Sheamus. Ambrose with a ton of slaps. And a huge drop kick. As he tied up Sheamus in the ropes. Ambrose now. Dirty deeds. Dirty deeds to Sheamus. Will this be enough to send Ambrose to a twitch fatal four way? And it does not. Ambrose pulling the rabbit out of the hat, immediately pulling out the dirty deeds. As he sends Sheamus into the corner. 
Now Sheamus returns to the bay with a huge clothesline in the corner. Sheamus might be looking for the high cross. A variation of the razor's edge. High cross. We don't see Sheamus use the high cross very often. Sheamus into the cover. And Ambrose kicking out at two and three quarters. Again, we don't see Sheamus hit the high cross very often. He might not have put enough extra oomph on that maneuver to put Dean Ambrose away here. Sheamus now going to the top rope, which is scary. We never go to the top rope with diving. Double axe handle. The crowd once again trying to get under the skin of Am excuse me, the skin of Sheamus and now Ambrose has an opportunity here. With a huge power bomb with a pin. And Sheamus kicks out at two. Ambrose now getting fired up here. A ton of strikes landing on from Ambrose. The huge forearm into the corner with a bulldog. Ambrose. He's all fired up here. Ambrose now with his signature lariat. But Dean did not go into the cover here. Must have moved for more punishment before hitting it with another de dirty deeds. Oh boy, what do we got here from Ambrose? The running knee. Shades of Regal. As Ambrose goes into the cover and he pins Sheamus to go to the fatal four way for the Twitch TV title. This is a huge win for the Lunatic Fringe. So far, four men have, have now been contenders for the Fatal 4-Way at the Autumn Rumble for the Twitch TV Championship. Dean Ambrose, Samoa Joe, then either Randy Orton or Dolph Ziggler when those two go one-on-one -on -one in the Autumn Rumble kickoff. As we now continue to find more contenders for the RCW Women's Championship. We have the Queen Charlotte going one-on-one -on -one with Asuka. Charlotte, the daughter of the 16-time world champion, the nature boy, Ric Flair. Charlotte, the final WWE Divas champion. A three-time WWE Women's Champion. She holds the record for most pay-per-view wins of any woman in professional wrestling in the WWE. Let's see if her streak will continue this Sunday at the Autumn Rumble if she can, if she may be contending 
for the RCW Women's Championship. But first, she has to knock off the woman who went undefeated in NXT to become NXT Women's Champion. Charlotte shows no fear as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Asuka. But honestly, I'm even intimidated by Asuka. And I think Charlotte should be afraid. Asuka, a champion over in Japan, came over to the United States. Knocked out every single woman in the NXT roster to become NXT champion, defeating Bailey. Then champion Bailey. And here we go. Asuka now with a back suplex. Asuka now adopting a bit of the strong style made famous from a lot of wrestlers over in Japan but now more modernly from Shinsuke Nakamura. Asuka now with another back suplex. Now working the arms of Charlotte which can neutralize a lot of maneuvers that Charlotte uses the natural selection and even the figure eight Oscar the top row with a spinning heel kick and Charlotte counters with a huge power bomb to Oscar Charlotte now working the legs and it will be inevitable that we will see the figure eight later in this matchup. Charlotte now sent into the ropes and Oscar with the kitchen sink knee. Oscar going for a drop kick here. Charlotte with those long legs just delivering a big boot to Asuka. As Asuka now counters with a running German suplex. As Asuka now goes back to the arm of Charlotte. Charlotte counters with a face buster. Asuka again working the arm. To try and neutralize a lot of maneuvers by Charlotte with another side back suplex. Asuka with a running double axe handle to the legs of Charlotte. <laughs> what a maneuver by Oscar. Oscar now dragging Charlotte to the middle of the ring. Here we go. Drop kick in a hip and low, low running hip, and Oscar into the cover on Charlotte. And Charlotte kicks out at two. This match has been all Asuka. Nice step back takeover by Charlotte. She drove with big knees right into Asuka. 
Sorry, disrespect from Charlotte. Kicking dirt and dust into the to Oscar. Thinking that Charlotte's better than Oscar. Again, Oscar being sent into the corner by Charlotte as now she puts her on the top rope. Charlotte. Looking for a back suplex of her own to Asuka from the top rope. Charlotte now gains some momentum with a spear to the former NXT Women's Champion. Charlotte now taunting Asuka. And here we go, Charlotte going for the figure eight. Charlotte was working on the legs of Asuka earlier. Will this be enough to put Asuka away? This would be her first defeat ever since leaving Japan. And coming to WWE, now RCW. Asuka. Just getting a little bit of room there. A little bit of separation on the legs of Charlotte to break the hold and hold a strike to her. Asuka now clubbing blows to the back of Charlotte. Charlotte now goes for a swing over neck breaker. The first cover in the matchup. Now Charlotte's using the ropes to her advantage as Asuka kicks out at two. Charlotte thought she had her there. Nice fireman's carry from Asuka. Asuka might have been going for a slam. Charlotte counters with a DDT. Inverted DDT. Asuka with a huge uppercut. Asuka now going. She's looking for the Asuka lock. The Asuka lock is locked into Charlotte. Will Charlotte tap out here? To Asuka on the Asuka lock. Now Charlotte breaks out and hits her back with an elbow. Charlotte also looking for a slam, but Asuka just shoves her off like nobody's business. Also now with another huge slam and a pin. Must be enough to put Charlotte away when she kicks out at two. Asuka now looking for that spinning roundhouse. But Charlotte with a big boot. Charlotte was spinning out neck breaker. No, jawbreaker. And Charlotte goes for another spear. The final. Divas champion, three-time WWE Women's Champion, showing the match experience against Asuka. Asuka looking for some sort of maneuver, but Charlotte counters it. Charlotte now has a nice snapback takeover and elbows to the head of Charlotte. Oscar now goes into the cover on Charlotte. Charlotte kicks out of two. Again, both these women fighting for one spot to get into the Battle Royal for the RCW Women's Championship at the Autumn Rumble pay-per-view this Sunday. Both these women looking to capture the RCW Women's Championship. Becoming the inaugural champion, then setting the pace for all that follow. Is Asuka with a running roundhouse? And then another low, die, low drop kick. Asuka with a cover on Charlotte. Charlotte kicks out at two. Excuse me, as I get all tongue tied here on commentary. Asuka with another low drop kick. And Charlotte with a takedown. Leg sweep. 
Charlotte now. Taunting Asuka. Charlotte looking for natural selection. Will this be enough to put Asuka away and send Charlotte to the pay-per-view? And it does. For the first time ever, these two women square off. We see who is the better woman. Great performance by Asuka. But it was not enough on the veteran experience of Charlotte. Charlotte now joins Nikki Bella, Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, and Natalia in the sixth women battle royal for the RCW Women's Championship at the Autumn Rumble pay-per-view. As we now move on to our main event here tonight, Seth Rollins, AJ Styles going one-on-one -on -one to go to the Fatal 4-Way for the RCW Twitch TV title. Seth Rollins looking to capture his first championship here in RCW. He was not successful in trying to get to the finals for the RCW heavyweight title. Looking to capture the Twitch TV championship. If he can knock off the phenomenal one AJ Styles here tonight. Seth Rollins, WWE champion, Mr. Money in the Bank, United States champion, tag team champion. Becoming the first ever dual champion of the WWE Championship and the United States Championship. After beating John Cena in SummerSlam. As Seth Rollins now has a very formidable opponent. The man who has wrestled all across the world. The phenomenal one. AJ Styles. AJ Styles, decorated champion down in TNA. Former IWGP heavyweight champion. Former WWE world heavyweight champion. Both these men not successful in the heavyweight championship picture but looking to make their mark as the inaugural Twitch TV champion at the Autumn Rumble in a fatal four-way. As one of these men will join Samoa Joe and Dean Ambrose and then later on either Randy Orton or Dolph Ziggler. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. And here we go. Two respected athletes and a taller collar elbow tie-up. It's Nightmare Takeover by AJ Styles. The side headlock on S Styles by Rollins is now AJ. 
There's a headlock on it, Seth Rollins. Both of these men fighting with similar styles. They can ground and pound and grapple, and they can also take to the air. Both these men know what it takes to be champion. AJ with snap suplex to Seth Rollins. Rollins now with an arm drag. As Rollins may be going for a DDT, but AJ with a kitchen sink. AJ might even go for a power bomb. Rollins with an arm drag. Both these men have studied tapes of each other. In the back, standing moonsault. Both these men have watched footage of each other's matches in the back, thinking that one can beat the other. Rollins getting AJ to get up as Rollins goes for the springboard knee. AJ sending Seth into the corner. Going for a drop kick. Seth counters. Both these men trading blows back and forth. And AJ with an enziguri. Rollins with an elbow. Then a running high knee to AJ Styles. Again, both these men have similar fighting styles. Watch all the tapes in the back. Knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses. They're practically identical. If you ask me. Seth Rollins now going to the top rope. Goes for a frog splash. Shades of Eddie Guerrero. As he goes for a standing shooting star press. Rollins maybe going for a belly to belly. AJ counters with a hard elbow and sling blade by Seth Rollins. Rollins now with the first cover in the matchup on AJ Styles. Styles kicks out at two. This may be the first encounter that each of these men have had with each other, but they sure as hell know each other. Rollins again going to the top rope. Going to the, the springboard. Splash. Another standing shooting star press. Rollins now with a neck breaker on AJ Styles. Seth Rollins now with AJ in the corner. Rollins looking for the buckle bomb to AJ Styles, which that has put many men away, including Sting, Sting and John Cena. The AJ kicking out at two. AJ has shown nothing in this matchup. It has been all Rollins. Rollins looking to do the Styles Clash on AJ Styles. What the hell? Is this going to be put Styles away and it does. What the hell? Last week, Kevin Owens beat Baron Corbin with the end of days. This week, it's Seth Rollins beating AJ Styles with a Styles Clash. What the hell is going on here? Everybody's stealing everybody's maneuvers. My God. We look again. Seth Rollins beating AJ with the Styles Clash. As Seth Rollins now joins Samoa Joe. 
and Dean Ambrose, father, fellow, shield brother in arms. And then you either join Randy Orton or Dolph Ziggler for the Fatal 4-Way in the Twitch TV Championship Fatal 4-Way. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the, our evening tonight. Wow, what is English? That is it tonight for our show. We will see you on Sunday for the Autumn Rumble pay-per-view. We will see you then.